This is question number one from the chapter number first. There are three parts of this question. In the first part, you will explain the base units with examples. In the second part, we will explain the derived units. While in the third part, we will explain homogeneous equation. And this equation is given, we will finally check this equation whether this equation is homogeneous or not. The part first is what is meant by base units. Give four examples of base units. This is a short definition of base units. Base units are fundamental units or the building blocks of units on the basis of which the rest of the units can be derived. We can derive other units from these base units and these base units are the fundamental units which mean that they are the basic units and cannot be derived from other units. Examples of base units are unit of time which is represented by S and is second. Unit of length which is meter and the symbol is M. Unit of mass, mass can be measured in kilogram and is represented by kg. Unit of electric current or ampere and this is represented by capital A. So these are the examples of four base units. There are total seven base units. Uh, this is the part B of the question. State what is meant by derived units. Now the derived units are units that can be derived from the base units which means that the derived units are not the fundamental units. We can derive these units, the derived units from the base units. For example, the unit of velocity. Velocity have a unit of d divided by t r meter per second. Unit of velocity is meter per second. Now this meter per second which is the unit of velocity is the combination of two base units meter and second. So this is a derived unit because this unit is derived from the base units of length and time. Other examples of base units are unit of force, unit of energy and etc. This is the part C of the question. For any equation to be valid, it must be homogeneous. Explain what is meant by homogeneous equation. So we will explain what is meant by the homogeneous equation. Homogeneous equation actually means that the equation is balanced. And this equation is balanced means that the units on both the sides of the equation will be the same are both the sides of the equation will have the same base units. For example, this is the first equation of motion which is Vf final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration multiplied by times. Now we know that the unit of velocity is meter per second. Similarly, this initial velocity have same units meter per second plus unit of acceleration is meter per second square and unit of time is second. Now this second will cancel out with this square and we will have meter per second is equal to meter per second plus meter per second which means that this equation is homogeneous because both the sides have the same meter per second base units. Now this is the second part in the part C of the question. The pressure P of ideal gas of density rho is given by the equation P is equal to 1 over 3 rho C square. Where the C square is the mean square of speed which is which mean that this C is speed and C square mean that speed square. Now use base units 
to show that the equation is homogeneous. We are going to prove that this equation is homogeneous, which means that this equation is balanced equation and both the sides have the same base units. Now we know that pressure is force per unit area and we also know that force is equal to mass time acceleration and in base units kilogram length or meter divided by second square. Here in this equation I represented the length by L. This is can also be represented by M which is meter the base unit of uh, length or uh, distance or displacement. Now we also know that the density is mass per unit volume. This is the volumetric density which means mass divided by volume. The unit of mass is kilogram and for volume we will use uh, L cube because we know that volume is length multiplied by weight multiplied by height length is also uh, me in meters with it also in meters and height is also in meters so the unit of volume will be l cube or meter cube similarly the unit of area is which is length multiplied by width is l square now substitute the value for pressure which is force per unit area value of uh, density rho which is kilogram divided by volume and the value of speed which is meter per second this this c is square so we have meter per second whole square now we know that force is equal to kilogram length per second square kilogram meter per second square divided by 1 over l square or 1 over m square this is for 1 over a this 1 over a is 1 over l square in base units 1 over 3 into th this is the value of density which is kilogram per unit volume and the volume have unit of l cube now this meter per second will become length square divided by second square now simplify this equation this l square with cancel out with this l cube and the only thing remaining here will be l similarly this l square will cancel out with this l square and we will have kilogram per second square and this is l power minus 1 this l when we shift this l from the denominator to the denominator it will become l power minus 1 similarly on the right hand side of the equation we will have 1 over 3 kilogram per second square per meter or l power minus 1 so both the sides of the equation have the same base units this is kilogram per second square and l power minus 1 similarly on this side kilogram per second square l power minus 1 so we have proved that this equation is homogeneous Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe EasyEDU for more videos.